everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is the day for my giant Disney haul from April of this year, the end of April. First off guys, I'm so sorry for the tardiness of this video. It was not my intent to wait this long. I don't just don't know what happened. I was working on other things, I guess. So I realized that I hadn't put out my haul video yet and I felt so bad. So anyway, I've gathered all of the things and I am going to show you now what I got when I went in April to Walt Disney World. Okay, so I'm gonna start with kind of some of the smaller things. Um, I've mentioned this before in a video um, a few months back, but when you go to Target in the Orlando area, they have autograph books there for very inexpensive. So I went ahead and I picked up two autograph books from Target. They're $2.99 each. Um, so here's the front of this one, and then when you open it, it does have Mickey on there. And I just really like how these um, are spiral, so they're really easy to flip to the exact page so the character can go ahead and write on them right away. And I also like how inexpensive they are because some of these autograph books in the park are just crazy expensive. So the front of that says Disney, it's got the Fab Five, and then you open it up, and then it's got them in a hot air balloon, and I just thought it was so cute. So it's like Mickey's glove, and then there's all the fireworks around. And I just really thought that this was really cute. So got those two things. Those are the only non-Disney licensed items, or I guess they might be Disney licensed. They are. Yeah, Disney licensed items that aren't available in the park. When we were at Epcot, it was the Flower and Garden Festival, which was so much fun. It was our very first Flower and Garden Festival. We did the pollination exploration, and so basically there's this little bee named Spike that is in each of the different pavilions around World Showcase, and you had to find him, and then you take a sticker and you place it onto the map, and then at the very end, you get a prize. And it's very similar to Hide and Go Squeak for um, the Food and Wine Festival, but it was flower and garden themed. And what they gave away, which I thought was really neat, was instead of like a pin or like a keychain as it's been in the past, they gave away patches. So I got this Mickey patch set um, for all his Mickey parts. And I just thought that this was a really neat thing. And as you guys know, I've been collecting patches um, for my little uh, craft room chair to decorate the chair with, and so I'm gonna add this to that collection, which is kind of exciting. So while we are on the conversation of Flower and Garden, let's talk about what I got at Flower and Garden Festival. So I got the Figment Christmas ornament that says the 2018 Flower and Garden Festival, and it's him with a butterfly, and then on his little butt, says Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. And I just love how he's got little bugs all over him. He's got a little caterpillar. And um, this is, it says celebrating 25 years on the bottom as well, because it was the 25th anniversary for Flower and Garden. This was 1999. And I just really thought that was fun. And I am working on um, my collection of Christmas ornaments so I can fill a tree completely with Disney ornaments and I actually think this year it's gonna be nice and full so I'm excited to add him to my Christmas ornament collection. And it's also kind of nice that he's not Christmas themed so I could put him out like during Easter time uh, as well so that's kind of cool. Another thing I got from the Flower and Garden Festival was I purchased this shirt that is the Epcot Flower and Garden Passholder shirt. And I thought the colors on this were just so beautiful and vibrant. And it's the same type of pose that the figment ornament was in. And all the little details in here, I love how they have all the little tiny bugs throughout. And I just thought this was so gorgeous. It's $29.99. And then on the back, it says pass holder. So yeah, there is my flower and garden shirt. Love it. Let's move on to apparel. I got two different pieces of apparel while I was there outside of the Flower and Garden Festival shirt. 
I got the Passport Collection Crew Neck sweatshirt and it's called the Passport Collection because basically um, it shows all of the details from all of the different parks on the crew neck sweatshirt and then Mickey in a um, it looks like a compass almost is on the back of this sweatshirt the sweatshirt is so comfortable oh it also has I'm sorry Walt Disney World on the sleeve something I will say about this is I am in love with crew neck sweaters or crew neck um, sweatshirts from the parks. They are so cozy and so comfortable. I don't know what they do. Um, this was $49.99 worth the money in my opinion. Um, I have been slowly accumulating a lot of these shirts and actually I just wore this on casual Friday last week at work. <laughs> it was so comfortable. Um, so yeah, there is my passport collection shirt and that was something that I went there knowing that I was going to buy because I really like that collection and I was on a mission to get that sweatshirt and then the next is as you guys know I love my spirit jerseys so I got the millennial pink spirit jersey at the time it was brand new I just thought that the print that they put on the back with all that glitter is just beautiful and uh, spirit jerseys are $59.99. Um, it is a, just a very, very comfortable uh, shirt to wear. If you guys haven't tried spirit jerseys, make sure to size down. Generally speaking, they're pretty big. Um, but yes, spirit jerseys are where it's at. <laughs> so let's move on to pins. I purchased quite a few pins while I was there. There was a lot of fun events happening while we were there in April. It was the 20th anniversary of Animal Kingdom and so I got a couple of 20th anniversary pins. So here is one of those pins um, with the Fab Five in the Jeep uh, going down uh, probably a safari or something of that sort but it says Disney Animal Kingdom 20th anniversary. We missed the date of the 20th anniversary by about three or four days, um, but this pin was $14.99, and it is a limited release pin, and it does have a pin on pin element, which I do really enjoy. There is another 20th anniversary pin here, and it has like a gazelle at the bottom, and it is an, a pin that can be opened, and then there's Walt Disney inside and he is uh, got two little deers that he's drawing in that and I just thought that was so cute. This is a limited edition pin and it was uh, $16.99. Ellie of 4000. And because it was the 20th anniversary I decided to go ahead and, well, I usually always donate, but I don't usually um, grab one of the buttons for the Disney Conservation Fund because I have too many of them. But since this one said 20th anniversary, I decided that I probably should get one for my collection just so I can show that I was there during the 20th anniversary of Animal Kingdom. I got a Walt Disney World pass holder pin. Uh, this pin was really neat. Um, it just says pass holder and as you guys might know, it is my first year being a Disney World pass holder and so I thought it was appropriate to commemorate this year with a pass holder pin. So I went ahead and got that. It was $14.99. Another thing that we got at the Flower and Garden Festival was the pins that were there. This is the pass holder pin and it is a limited release and it is a pin that is showing Figment looking at a map as though he's at the Flower and Garden Festival and he's surrounded by topiaries of Mickey and Pluto and I just thought that this was really neat. Um, I love how heavy this pin is. This pin is a pin on pin element and it is quite big. It also has Spaceship Earth and Donald and it, I just really, really enjoyed this pin. So I'm really glad to be able to add this to my collection to commemorate my very first Flower and Garden Festival. And another um, 
Flower and Garden Festival pin that I got was the uh, Three Caballeros Topiary pin. And the reason why is because at work, um, we used to call each other the Three Caballeros, the three managers at my work used to call each other that, and it just has a special place in my heart. But this pin is actually really neat. It's got a pin on pin element and it's got the 3D element as well. So their little sombreros are actually three dimensional rubber elements. And the other cool thing about this pin is at the topiary point, um, they are the, at the topiary areas of the pin. It has a clear paint or, or I don't know what it's called, a clear resin to show through so you can actually see through um, the pin, which I thought was really neat. So they did a really good job with this pin. This was a limited edition pin. $16.99 and the it is an Ellie of 4000 While we were there, we stayed at the Art of Animation. This was the first time we stayed at Art of Animation and we stayed in the Little Mermaid room, which was incredible. And it is my new favorite value resort. I will be staying there again and I probably, that might be my home resort now where I go. But I wanted to get a pin to commemorate us being there. So I got the Art of Animation pin, and it's just an open edition pin, but I do like that it has Ariel, Lion King, Cars, and Finding Nemo, because those are the four areas of the resort, and they are themed in that way. So they have like a Cars area, a Lion King area, Finding Nemo area, and a Little Mermaid area. And they have pools that are themed for each of those areas. It's just, if you have not been to that resort, it is worth taking a look at. They've got a lot of really, really neat things in that resort. The next pin that I got was another open edition pin, and this might be a little bit silly, but I was terrified to ride on the dinosaur ride, and I rode it this time, so I decided that I would treat myself with a dinosaur pin. So this is, this says, it's fast, it's a blast, it's in the past, dinosaur, and it's got the fab, or it's got Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Pluto in a ride vehicle, and they're being chased by that giant um, red, creepy dinosaur that has the horns. And the dinosaur is actually 3D, so it's that rubber element, but I thought it would be good to commemorate my first ride on that terrifying ride. I probably will go on it again, but, um, not anytime soon. <laughs> and then the last pin that I bought was, it was actually Dapper Day while we were there. Um, it was my very first Dapper Day. We had so many firsts this trip. We had a first flower and garden, first Dapper Day, first time on Dinosaur. <laughs> Jesse's first time riding Flight of Passage. I mean, there was a lot of firsts and it was a lot, very memorable, fun trip, even though we were only there for five days. And Dapper Day was so amazing and it was just so neat seeing everyone dressed up and looking beautiful and I love that they had a pin to commemorate Dapper Day. It says Fine and Dandy 2018 and it's got Mickey and Minnie standing together in their dapper outfits. And I just love how their attire is different than normal. It's much more like 19, um, 1950s, 1940s era. So I love that. And this pin is a limited edition pin. And it is an LE of 5,000. Not a, not a small LE, but that's okay. Uh, it was $14.99, but I will not be trading this. This was... Um, yeah, a really cool thing. I like to get pins that commemorate things that are important to me and um, all of my firsts I like to document too. Oh, and I did open the uh, mystery pin pack of the film strips. I'm sorry, that was not my last pin. Um, so I got the Ursula and Ariel. I got Simba. I got Tadashi and Baymax. And I also got Jasmine and Aladdin. 
Now, I am interested in trading. If you guys would like to trade with me, I am looking for the rest of the Little Mermaid film strip collection, especially the one with Ariel and Prince Eric's statue. Um, so anyway, uh, comment down below if you would like to trade because I would love to do that. <laughs> okay, moving on. So let's go to Epcot stuff. I got a couple of things from Epcot that I want to show you guys. I got this, which this is the Frozen in a Bottle perfume. And so this is by the same company that makes Layla, I believe it's called, um, which is amazing perfume. And I'm so excited to have this. This perfume smells delicious. It's a little bit lighter than Layla, but it's similar in scent. Um, but yes, it's definitely lighter. This was $80 for the bottle and I did get a pass holder discount. Oh yeah. So it's a little bit more crisp and light and citrusy than Layla. Layla is very musky and this is a little bit lighter of a scent. So if you go to the Norway Pavilion, check this out. Um, it was pretty new. Um, it was new when we went there in November. So, um, or I believe it was. So it's probably about a year old, I would say. Um, but yes, oh my gosh, it's, oh God, it smells like Epcot. <sighs> oh, that's nice. And the next thing that I got from, from Epcot was I got this really cool Lotso and he has little snap arms. And so he snaps around things. Um, there we go. So he snaps like around, I got him at mouse gears, but he like snaps around your wrist. It was $16.99 and he does smell like strawberries and I just thought this was so fun. So here he is. Um, I do think his coloring is a little off. He's much, much brighter than normal. Um, his normal burgundy is definitely been a little bit sun bleached or maybe this is how he wanted to look, but I thought this was really cute to add to my collection. I do have a stitch that wraps around my little uh, lamp upstairs by my bed. So now I'm going to add my little Lotso to go with him, which I think is kind of fun. So there's my Lotso. A uh, couple of things that I got in Magic Kingdom. I've shown you guys this before, but I got a water bottle holder. It has a lanyard and then you can connect this little carabiner to your backpack and then pop a bottle into Mickey's hand. And actually, um, when Jesse and I were there, we decided that we needed a second one because we wanted to be able to pop two water bottles onto my backpack and not just one, so we each could have our own water bottle. So, this was $9.95. It's very handy. Um, I got it at the Emporium, but I was really pleased with my last one, so I wanted to get a second one. So, um, <laughs> while we were there, we had so much fun at Country Bears. I love Country Bears, and my love of Country Bears has been completely renewed. I don't know why I ever um, questioned my love of Country Bears. Um, I don't think I have, I don't know why I did not, um, I haven't gone to it as of recently, and then all of a sudden we went back, because I was like, Jesse, we should go to Country Bears, because he loves Country Bears, and oh my God. That place is so fun. I just loved it. The puns at the beginning and then these super entertaining animatronics. But anyway, I got a big owl zoom to uh, commemorate our fun that we had at Country Bears. And it's got his little guitar on the side and his like messed up hat and his little sad face. And I just, I thought this was so cute. I have no idea how much this was. I'm assuming it was like five bucks. Um, but I will add him to my Zoom collection because I love me some country bears. Okay, there are only three more items left. I have mentioned this before, the pins at Disney World are amazing. I got another set. This is the same set that I bought in January and the reason I got a second set was because I wanted to be able to take these to work. So this is $16.99. I was going to take my previous ones to work, but they never ended up making it because I love those pins so much. I have them all over the house and we use them to write with. And so now this pack is specifically going to my work to be able to be used there. So <laughs> I had to get a second pack because I just can't part with them at home. 
The next item I got was the Little Mermaid VHS. Uh, it's the VHS tape uh, notebook, and so when you open it up, it's got the original VHS in it, or the picture of the original VHS in it, and it looks just like the original movie VHS um, tape. And then when you open it up, it's got Ariel inside. And I definitely thought uh, that I had to have this because I'm such a Little Mermaid fan and it just, uh, yeah, it just made sense for me to have this. And yeah, so $15.99. I'm very excited to add it to my Disney stationery collection, which is growing and growing and growing. <laughs> The next item I got is I got this Baymax mug, and I'm sure you guys have seen it before. I'm a huge Baymax fan. I love Baymax. So does my husband, Jesse. He, it's one of his favorite Disney films. And the thing that I like about this is inside, it has little um, gauges of like happiness, right? And so the smiley face is sad, or the face is sad at the top, and then as you drink your coffee down, it gets happier and happier and happier, and I just thought that that was so funny. The other thing I love about this mug is on the back, it's got a piece of tape, which if you guys have seen Big Hero 6, you know what that's about, and I just think that is so cute. This was $19.99, and I'm very excited to add this to my mug collection, and I actually think that this might be a mug that Jesse uses, and I've never been able to get him to use a Disney mug, so this might be the first one that he gets to use, which is kind of exciting. But guys, that's all. You'll have to let me know down below what your favorite item is. I think my favorite item is gonna be my Frozen perfume. Um, smelling it, it smells so much like Epcot. Oh my gosh, it like makes my heart sing. It like, you know when you smell something and it brings back these memories? This is definitely doing that for me. So hopefully every time I'll wear it, I'll think of, of Disney World and Epcot. But yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I know that that was a super long video and I appreciate you guys so much for um, hanging in there and watching it. Again, let me know down below what you liked. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe. I've got a ton of Disney content coming your way and I hope you guys have an absolutely magical day. I will talk to you guys soon. TTFN, bye.